there. This morning we are going to be creating a custom PSD smart object mock-up here in Photopea. We're going to be making a kitchen towel or tea towel mock-up that you can use over and over again for your digital designs. Now if you're new to the channel, I'm Rhonda and I help digital makers like you turn your creativity into cash using AI. My videos contain easy to follow tutorials, fun tools, and strategies to help you sell more of your digital designs. If you want AI prompts for trending designs and niches, member only custom GPTs, and access to exclusive training, be sure to check out my school community. The link for it is down in the description and I can't wait to see you there. So without wasting any more time, let's get into today's tutorial. Like I said, we are going to be making a custom mock-up that you can use over and over again to display your uh, digital sublimation designs in a real life setting. So we are using Photopea for this, which is a completely free online editor. You don't need to use Photoshop or Canva, so there are no subscriptions needed to do this. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to click New Project. And I like to make my mock-ups 2500 by 2500. That's a good size for an Etsy listing photo. And I do 72 DPI. Be sure it's 72. This is a mock-up. This is not a file that somebody's going to download. It's only for the web, so it should only be 72 DPI. The background, it doesn't matter because we're going to get rid of that eventually anyway. So I'm just going to hit create. And now we have a blank 2500 by 2500 canvas with us. And I have a blank image that I created in Recraft right here. And this is just a image of a waffle weave kitchen towel hanging over, over the oven door. So I just drug that in here and I am going to resize this because I want my focus to be on this towel. Not really on all the stuff behind it. I do want people to be able to see that it is in fact a towel hanging over an oven door. So I'm going to leave, you know, a little bit of the design here, but for the most part, I want the focus to be on my towel. Once I have it sized and centered where I want it, I am just going to click on that layer. Then I am going to hit Control A on my keyboard to select everything and then Control J to copy it. And what that does is it just makes sure that this image is now cropped down to the size of my canvas. All right. So once we have that done, we want to make a copy of just our towel. Okay. So the easiest way to do that is to come over here and grab your magnetic lasso tool and then just come along and trace right along the edges of your towel. And the lasso will just snap into place and grab the area that you want. And we're just going to go right up until we get back to the top. Click on it to finish, and now we have our towel selected. So again, we are going to hit Control J on our keyboard, and what that did was just make a copy of the towel by itself. Right away, we are going to name this layer Shadows Highlights. Okay? that is going to be saved for later. So I'm going to turn it off right now. Now we have to make our smart object. We need to put a placeholder here where our designs will show up. So to do that, I'm just going to come over here to my rectangle tool. I'm going to select the rectangle 
and it doesn't matter what color this is. I am just changing mine to a light blue. And then I am going to draw a shape right over top of my towel. Now I'm going to hold in my shift key and make this a square. You can make yours a rectangle. I make mine a square because 99.9% .9 of my designs I make are square. So I want to be able to just drop them right in to my smart object without having to move them around or anything like that. So once you have your shape made, before you do anything else, you're going to come over here, right click on your shape layer and select convert to smart object. Okay. Once that is converted to a smart object, we're going to reduce the opacity just a little bit, just so we can see the towel behind it so we can work with it. Then I'm going to come up here and select my move tool. So I can now move this around and place it where I want it. And I think right about there looks good. There's a little bit of space under my image for my towel border and I have a little bit of space on each side. So that is a pretty good location for my image design. So I am going to come back over here now and I'm just going to turn this opacity back up because we are really done with that shape for right now. Now we can turn on our shadows and highlights layer and you see that covers up our shape. All right. What we're going to do now is add our shadows and highlights. And what I like to do is add an image to my smart object because that makes it easier for me to determine if I have my shadows and highlights right. So I'm going to double click on this and this opens up my image window and I'm going to turn off this shape layer. We don't need to see that. And I'm just going to grab a design that I have made and I'm just going to drag it in there so that I can easily see when I have my shadows and my highlights right. So I'm going to hit control S to save this. And my smart object has been updated. So now when we go back over here, if I turn off that shadow and highlight layer, you can see my image. Now I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this. It put my design on the towel, but if you look at it, it just looks like I took a picture and I sat it on top of another picture, right? It's not realistic at all. If we were sublimating on this towel, we would see this waffle weave through our design. And that's why we have to have a shadows and highlights layer. We are going to adjust those so that our image looks more realistic. Okay, so now we have our image in here. I'm going to turn my shadow and highlights layer back on. I'm going to select it. I'm going to come up here to image, adjustments, desaturate. Now I'm going to come up here right above the layer and where it says normal, this is our blending mode. We're going to select that and we are going to scroll down and we're going to choose hard light. Now you see when I picked hard light, our image started to come back through. That's what we want. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to right click on this shadow highlight layer and we're going to select clipping mask. What that does is make sure that anything we apply to the shadow and highlights layer only affects our shape layer, our image. In fact, I'm going to rename this real quick. Click to add image. Okay. That's our smart object. That's where we add our image. And that's the layer that we want our shadows and highlights to affect. Once you have created the clipping mask, you're going to make sure your shadows and highlights are selected. And then you're going to come up here to image, 
adjustments levels or you could do control L on your keyboard. Now what you're going to do is just play with these. You're going to slide things around until this image looks pretty realistic, pretty much how it looked. You want to get your colors right or as close to as you can. But if you are looking at this, you can see that you can see the waffle weave through our towel, through our image design. And that is what we want because that is how it will be when we put it on a product. You know, if somebody buys our design and they sublimate it onto a towel, they are going to see the waffle weave through it. And that's what we want. So that looks pretty good to me. I can see the shadows and the highlights. I could make it a little darker, but I think that looks pretty good. Like I said, you can tinker with it and play with it and just get it to where you're happy with it. But I am happy with those. So I'm going to hit okay. So basically and here, let's zoom in again. So you can see that you can now see this waffle weave through our design. If we turn off this layer, we're going to go back to what it was like before. And that does not look realistic. This looks realistic on the towel. Let's zoom out a little so you can see it a little better. See, that's what it looks like with the shadows and highlights. That's what it looks like without. This is basically a cheap mock-up that nobody took their time to do. This looks like you took your time and made a very nice mock-up. So basically our mock-up is done. There's a couple things I like to do now. This is my image layer. This is our smart object. This is where we add our design. So I like to right click it, color, and turn it green. Put this green marking here. Green means go, right? That's the layer you wanna work with. My shadows and highlights layer, we don't want to mess with. So I right click it and select red. We don't mess with that. And then I like to lock it as well. And then down here, I'm going to change the name of this to background. And again, we don't want to mess with our background. So I right click red and I will lock that as well. And then this white layer that was here to start with, we're just going to unlock it and delete it. So now this is all my background and my shadows are locked. I'm not going to accidentally mess with them up when I come in here to add a new design to my image. So now to get it ready to save, I'm just going to double click here again. I'm going to bring up my smart object layer. I'm going to delete my design. I'm going to leave this shape off. We do not need it. In fact, let's change the name here. Keep this layer off. And you can do that just to remind yourself that you don't want that layer on. And then you just go to file and save or control S on your keyboard. So now when we come back over here, the design is gone. There's nothing there. And if now, if you want to add a new image, you just double click that again, drag your image right into it, control S to save. And now you have a new design in there. And then you can save this as a JPEG or a PNG and there's your mockup. So let's go back over, let's get rid of this layer. Let's save it. And now our mock-up is ready to be saved so we can use this over and over and over again. We just come up here to file, save as PSD, and let's name this kitchen towel mock-up. And now you can use this whenever you want. So let me close it quick and 
open from computer, kitchen towel mock-up, and there it is intact, just the way we saved it. And to add a design, you just double click, put your design in here, just drag it in. Not that one though, that one's not ready. Drag it in, control S, there's your design. Now you can save this again as a JPEG or a PNG, and that is your mock-up of your digital product. So I hope you guys found this helpful. And now you know how to create your own smart object mock-up in Photopea. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, let me know. Um, I do have a complete Photoshop and photo P PSD masterclass that is available inside my school community. So if you want to take advantage of that, you can do that as well by joining the, the community. And I will see you guys next time.